What's up, y'all? This is Ezzy from 106LiveRadio.com, and I'm here at the Plaza Theater for the movie premiere White Rose. All right. Now, White Rose is a film that's been created to bring awareness of sex trafficking. So, I tell you what, don't go anyplace because I will be speaking with the producers here and some of the cast members here live. So, stick and stay. What's up guys, this is Ezzy from 106LiveRadio.com and I'm here at the movie premiere White Rose, which is a film is about sex trafficking. Right. And I have the producers, Kade Hill, with me. Yes, how are everybody doing? And Mr. John. Hey, hey. What's up, man? How are you, you feeling today? Oh, man, I'm excited. I'm just, I mean, this day finally has oh, gotten, yes. Oh, man, it's been a blessing, man. So I'm super excited. This this is a project that you guys have been working on. Of course, we know that uh, sex trafficking is something that is huge in the U.S. right now. Right. As a matter, this is a global epidemic, if you want to call it that. It is. And you guys have came together and put this project together. Tell us why. Well, this was actually this is actually John's baby. It was a play, and I remember reading the play, and I was like, oh my goodness, this is just an incredible story. This is definitely something I want to be a part of. Mm -hmm. And then fast forward three years, he called me. He was like, listen, I want to turn it into a movie. So I couldn't say no. Absolutely. Yeah. Three years in the making, huh? Oh, man. It seems like it was just yesterday. I mean, it's uh, a lot of hard work. We have a lot of great uh, people uh, behind the scenes, you know, the cast. I mean, just amazing. So I'm, I'm looking forward to uh, it being presented. Tell, tell us about your whole motivation and I want to bring sex traffic into light. Well, uh, the whole motivation was uh, we worked with uh, a, one lady who she went out with a ministry called uh, Out of Darkness and they would go out to Fulton Industrial Boulevard and they would hand out roses to a lot of the prostitutes and so that perked my interest and so uh, just started getting more information about it and just started putting pen to paper and uh, here we are. How, how did you guys uh, make uh, selected your, your cast members and all of that? Um, you know what? We did the character development, and they walked in, and after the audition, we just knew this was the person. It was like confirmation. Oh, man, they were on point. Uh, these people, they studied their lines, they did the research, and I mean, you're going to hate them when you, when you see the movie. I mean, that's how good they are. I mean, these are up-and-coming actors. They do, they're phenomenal, and I'm just looking to see them, uh, you know, doing big things in the future. So for the folks who are watching us right now, uh, right here on 106 Live, um, what would you tell them? What was the real reason why they should watch that film? Because we need to raise awareness. We need to stop sex trafficking. We need to see what's hidden right in plain sight. And um, once you start looking at the statistics, you start doing your research, you'll see that it's happening every day. It's happening to little brown and black children as well as white children. The difference is though, when it's brown and black children, they label us as runaways. So not much is being done. So we really need to you know, step up and do more in the community. And of course, we are here in Atlanta. Of course, we know Atlanta is one of the hubs of sex trafficking. Uh, do, what do you think we can do differently to, to stop this whole mass production of sex trafficking? I think awareness and education. I think the more we put it out there, the more people are aware, showing them the signs, you know, letting them know what, uh, you, uh, to be aware of, of kids who, uh, what it looks like. Uh, you know, you see kids with barcodes, tattoos, you know, they belong to these pimps, you know, kids walking around with their heads down, looking with se low self-esteem. I mean, things are, like that are signs. And, you know, when you see something, say something. Tell us more about your production company. Uh, Two Fish, Five Loaves Entertainment. It's a faith-based uh, production company. Uh, we like to do uh, documentaries, uh, plays, and films. Uh, it's about inspiration. We want to we want to bring up topics that's going to perk conversation and change. How can the folks follow you? Uh, they can follow me at on Instagram at Two Fish Five Loaves ENT, and on Facebook the same thing two, at Two Fish Five Loaves ENT. What about you, Kade? Um, I am I A M K A D E Hill H I L L, as well as my Jado M Y J A I D O. I'm looking forward to the film. Thank you. Well, on behalf of Jado Studios and Two Face Five Loaves Entertainment, we just want to say thank you, thank you for coming out and supporting. Me. I also, at this time, would like to. First, thank you, Jesus, for giving me this vision and for, and for surrounding me with this great group of people. 
Um, but I'd be remiss if I, I would like every person that was a part of it, whether it's cast, uh, extras, if you were a sponsor, if you if you went to the store and grabbed a piece of USB cord, <laughs> I would like for you to please stand up because I believe in team and I couldn't have done this alone. All right, so um, I know John said, like you know that you know everybody part of the cast are gonna do amazing and bigger and better things. But John, this is just the beginning. Yeah. All right. This this is just the beginning. It's going to get bigger and better from here. So White Rose is actually going to be turned into a television series. All right. <laughs> It's not just gonna be a movie, it's going to be a TV series. So then you can just like, you know, watch it and watch another episode and another episode and another episode and then a season two and a season three and a season four. What's up y'all? So this is Ezzy and Mr. Antheon from 106 Live Radio and we've just looked at the short film White Rose Sex Trafficking. How you feel about this film, man? It was powerful, Ezzy. That, that film, I mean, I thought it's been a short story. It actually made an impact, man, because even as short as it was, the it was in depth as far as what went on and what goes on with sex trafficking how it impacts the entire family it was it was powerful did you get a message of course i got a message the message i mean that i got out of it was the fact that you know um <coughs> you have to watch the children i mean inside and out man and i mean begin everybody concentrates on the outside of the family structure it actually happens on the inside of the family structure as well one of the one of the things that uh got my attention is the fact that sometimes you look at the kids and there's so they're in such a situation we cannot just take what they're saying as face value mm. because they may say to you that they're okay mm. but deep down inside they're really not they're afraid they're afraid to say it i mean in the movie shows that even though she wanted to say something the guy had so much control and power over her she had so much fear inside of her that she was afraid to to lose well i can't tell what happened in the movie but she was so afraid that she was afraid to tell the one person that she could trust who was a pastor absolutely once again guys uh white rose is expected to be a movie series a tv series actually turn into a tv series and um make sure you watch the film there are so many things happening of course here we're in atlanta and atlanta is one of the hubs of sex trafficking there are over 20 almost 25 million people affected by sex trafficking right you know here and in georgia as they say that georgia is number one in sex trafficking and whatnot and it's only second to drug trafficking that's what I'm talking about, guys. So make sure sex trafficking, if you see something, say something, please pay attention. And let's just look out for the kids, man, because, you know, it can happen to anybody. We just never know what someone is going through. But it's so important, so important to get the message and to spread the word about, spread the word and spread awareness. And one more thing that he said that made a lot of sense to all the uh, parents out there. If you got a small child that goes to the bus stop or anywhere at the break of dawn before the sun comes up, watch your child watch them absolutely and it doesn't matter it could be a boy or girl as long as you have a kid going over there <laughs> you gotta pay attention well if they try to snatch them in broad daylight there you know what they'll do at that time of morning so yeah that's, absolutely. that's, that's serious man. absolutely man but once again guys make sure you look for the film it's called white rose and make sure you keep it out to 106 live ready because <sighs> we're gonna we're gonna talk more about sex trafficking here on the platform let's do it let's do it Izzy.